Hello, good morning. Another lovely day here in the Philippines, as always. Um, my last video was about pushing up the prices of uh, houses by us expats, foreigners, uh, building and buying homes here. Um, ignorance, of course, is bliss, and I do appreciate the comments, but there's a one particular comment that seems to come through in many of the videos that I have put down, even unrelated to the subject matter, and that is that there is a white tax. They talk a, it's a very racist statement, but a white tax, meaning that because they see a foreigner, they put the price up. Well, I'm sure that some businesses try it on. But the first thing that I ever encountered when I came here, when we went to the market, if Jane and the girls were going to the market, as an example, they would always say, stay back. In other words, stand back about, I don't know, 20 feet away and let them do the shopping. And that's what they did. Now, the idea was that because if I was there, the price per kilo would go up. Now actually, in eight years I've been here, I pay the same price that the locals pay. I don't, I go round to four or five, or maybe even six different outlets, and I ask the prices. It's called due diligence. The idea that somehow we come over here and we, we turn our brain cells off, and we don't realize that in actual fact, we are being ripped off. Well, we're not really. If we're stupid enough, buyer beware, isn't it? In the West, buyer beware. So when you go in there, you kick tires, to use an Aussie expression, going around kicking tires. In other words, you're just trying to find more information about what you're trying to do. Now, if you're going to build a house, that's a pretty big investment for anybody, even here in the Philippines. And you can build a home for 3 million pesos, around that figure, even today, by being not stupid, but doing building a modest home, one where you also can maybe be involved in maybe painting, plastering, a little bit of additional labor for the people that you're employing, in other words, hands-on experience. Now, of course, if you come from a background where everything was done for you, then you're going to be a fish out of water. You're going to want to dig in your wallet and pay someone else to do it. Well, I say more fool you because that's when you do get ripped off. You've also got to remember, if you're not aware of it, but you must have some idea how long it would take to do something. If you see somebody doing a really good job building a hollow block wall, for instance, and they take a day to do it and you see another one alongside him taking a day and a half to do it you have to ask yourself two things one is the guy doing the job skilled enough to uh, earn the money that you're paying him as a skilled tradesman or is he just dragging his feet to screw you for a bit extra salary both can apply of course now, in my particular case, oh, good old John managed to find someone perfect. No, I found somebody who was honest, did an honest day's work, and was prepared to push the other guys along accordingly. In other words, hey guys, pull your finger out. We're not here just for a holiday in Elacano or Tagalog. And that makes a big difference. That's why when you are back in the States or Australia or in England and you're sending the money over to your lady you're asking her to be in a sense the on-site foreman the overseer for the job and if she's never built a house in her life she's going to be the one that gets ripped off she's going to be seen as oh this is the girlfriend of the foreigner so my advice when you are building a house is to actually be here through the majority of the build because if you're not things will run away and things will go up now 
Steel has gone up, but steel has come down. Cement goes up like a yo-yo and then comes back down again. And cement, steel and aggregate are the main uh, parts of building a home. And I say building, getting the structure up. Therefore the steel on the roof, the steel inside the foundation and also the uh, support for the walls, it's important that you buy it at a time where the price is down. You can store it, being quite easily you can pay for it. You can say to the man, I will pay for it now, will you leave it there and I'll pick it up in three months time. Use your imagination. Try and save money by being smart, not stupid. And yes, inflation has hit the Philippines like everywhere in the world. But it's nowhere near affecting the everyday lives of those around us as we see it. And I'm not going, I'm not sitting here in my ivory tower, not aware of the things. I know the price of pork, I know the price of vegetables. For instance, if you buy potatoes, that's normal Western style potatoes, they're around 220 a kilo at the moment, which is high because it used to be around 130, 150. But that's a seasonal issue. So what I do is I replace it. And I actually uh, use sweet potato because sweet potato is only 120 a kilo. If you buy little potatoes, what we used to call baby potatoes, you may pay 140 a kilo. You're still getting the same amount of potato as you would with a big potato at 220, 240. Use your imagination, use your common sense. Squash or pumpkin as I call it, is a cheap vegetable. Carrots are expensive. You know, replace with an alternative. Like anywhere else in the world, you tend to try and buy things in season. Just like here, there are vegetables that are in season and out of season. If it's a wet, wet season, then obviously it's harder to get the potatoes out of the ground and therefore the price goes up because there's a lot of work involved in digging wet ground and the damage caused to getting them out of the ground. So, just like everything else, white tax is up to you too. Use your imagination, go out, scout about, ask for prices. Don't accept the first price. Ask them, is that your best price, sir? Make sure that what you're buying is really at the best price. You don't have to say, look, it's uh, 30,000, well, I'll give you 20. Don't be stupid, you know. They're not silly either. Do your, do, do your homework first and find out why something has gone up and be prepared to pay for it. For instance, when you finish off your house, there's so much that goes inside a house to finish it off, like ceiling fans, electrical fittings, um, uh, stoves, bridges, all those things. Shop around, get the best price. Even if you do send your wife in to get a price, she can ask in her own language how much something like that is. You don't even need to be in the shop. You can appear 10 minutes later and then see if the price goes up when you come in. Just use your common sense, guys. Uh, white tax, yes, you could, it's a horrible expression, but yes, you can get price gouged because you're a foreigner, but it's up to you whether you want to be taken or not. You've got two feet, turn around and walk away. You'll be very surprised if they don't say, oh, 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 oh hang on a minute, sir, we can maybe do a better price. <laughs> money talks. So when you're uh, contemplating doing anything here in the Philippines, just think again twice. Try and do things with a little bit more imagination. And don't be scared to ask uh, and get different prices no matter where you are. That way you will avoid the opportunity of being, as you might say, uh, charged the white tax on 
anything you do. Anyway, I hope that that's of some help to people. No doubt we'll have the doubters, but that's all part and parcel of videos. And uh, comments are always welcome. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and press the notification button for more videos. Bye now.